Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. Not every snake we keep is the easiest animal to work with. There are some difficult snakes. We're going to cover that in this week's episode. You're watching Snake Bites. Obviously, when you keep as many animals as we do, you're going to have some animals that are a little bit difficult to keep. I really look at three different areas, feeding, breeding, and handling. I want to start with an animal that's a little bit difficult to feed. Now, it's only as a baby, but these are actually little rhino rat snakes. And I tell you, these little buggers can be a real pain in the butt to get to feed, but we do have a trick for it. Believe it or not, they eat guppies. And if you can feed them guppies as a baby and then eventually move up to pinkies that are scented with fish, they do really well. Another animal that just gives us fits as a baby snake are these gray banded king snakes. They're just so awesome looking, so I've gotta keep them. But man, it drives me crazy to get these guys to feed. And I tell you why, is because they actually eat lizards in the wild, mainly Swiss. And why it's not just practical to feed baby lizards to our snakes are really two reasons. One, lizards can carry parasites and we don't wanna give them to that animal. Second, they're very costly. Obviously, rodents are the way to go. The way we get around that, we feed rodents that are scented by lizards. Lizards. Sometimes it takes a few times to get them started, but once they switch over to pure rodents, they eat rodents the rest of their life, and they're awesome animals. These javelin sand boas can be a little tough as babies, but they're really cool. They actually are born live, about 6 to 12 babies in a litter, and they're born pretty big, so there's no reason why you wouldn't think that they would feed, but for some reason we just can never get them started really easily. The trick we use is we take a deli cup, we put a live pinky in there, we put the snake in there and cap it, and they always eat overnight, letting the snake go in the morning. We do that four or five times, and then they're ready to feed in their cage with a live pinky, eventually switching over to frozen thawed. Let's look at a few snakes that don't breed as well as we'd like them to. And just because they don't breed well doesn't mean that I'm not willing to work with them. Take this Ridley Eye or Cave Dwelling Rat Snake for instance. I've been working with these guys for about 8 or 9 years and to be honest with you, I've only produced one clutch. But that doesn't stop me from keep working with them because they are just such awesome animals. Ever since I saw my first Calabar burring python, I knew I had to own one. And I've actually raised up some captive hatch babies from West Africa. And they're about five or six years old now, but we've had absolutely no luck in getting them to breed or have eggs. Doesn't mean I'm not going to continue to try. I will produce these guys at some point. These Angolan pythons are a West African python and they're very similarly related to ball pythons, but for whatever reason they don't have the same success as ball pythons when it comes to production. Although they're incredible animals, they are a little bit difficult to breed and they are really rare as far as in the pet trade still. I think in the coming years we're going to figure out the trick and we'll really be able to produce these things. Now we're going to show you a few animals that are a little bit difficult to handle, but I'm thinking the best person for that job is Chewy. The first snake I want to demonstrate is the green tree python, how to properly handle this difficult animal. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. Okay, give me a cup. I'm guarding myself against extreme dangers. Ah. Oh, oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's let's go to the next snake. Woo! Now, since I handled the green trees so effortlessly, I'm gonna handle the baby berms. This is how you should do it. Take out the cage all the way. Oh! 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 This is the bullfighting technique I like to use. Okay, guys, the baby berm. As long as you're calm, she will remain calm. I show. Oh, 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 I don't like George. Watch the head of the animal while I handle the. Okay. Well, I think we'll end this segment on a high, and we'll cut. Thank you. You've been watching Handle Difficult Snakes with Chewy. Handle Difficult Snakes with Chewy. Even though these animals can be difficult in one way or another, if you guys have those things in mind to keep as pets, I don't want to discourage you in any way. They certainly can all be kept, handled, and bred, as long as you guys do your homework and know what you're dealing with. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Sure. Hey, I'm working. Hey, dumb Go! I'm, I'm gonna tell Lori. Go. Are you gonna touch me? Don't touch me. Ooh. Go! Alonara! And 
diggity. George is being real weird today. No, I mean real weird. Talking gibberish, gobbledygooking. Come on, man, he's just probably messing with your head. You know, you guys do this stuff all the time. Just get back to work, okay? Okay, I'm telling you. Brian! Get the fire, George! Now! Whoa, 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 calm down, guys. What the hell's going on? He just walked up, slammed me in the face, and then danced away like a f***ing moron. <laughs> Ow. If then he kicked me to joke and I f***ing blacked out. <laughs> <Is that too? laughs> Do something, I'm tired of this Both crap. You guys. guys, I can't just fire the guy. I mean, the way you guys always harass him, I'm sure he's just getting you back. No, you don't understand. It's something totally different. He's acting really weird, even for George. Yeah, I'm actually a little concerned. All right, I'll go talk to George and see if I can figure this whole thing out. <laughs> hey, George, what's going on, man? Seriously, I know you're just messing around, guys. The guys are getting kind of tweaked out, man. You okay, dude? Got your nose! <laughs> guys, I'm telling you, I, I thought this was a joke, but I'm seriously thinking there's something wrong with this guy. I think he might have rabies or something. That makes you act weird. You ever seen old Yeller? Maybe we should take him to the hospital. I'm, I'm not sure what the heck they'll do for him, but it's worth a shot, I guess. Let's get this over with. Oh, come on, we're gonna go get food. You want some food? Oh, screw this. Come here. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even touch him. Is he dead? You killed my boy. My boy. George, I'm sorry for always making fun of you. George, I'm sorry for always picking on you and just kicking your ass for the hell of it. I miss you. I'm sorry I paid you less than everyone else because you had a mustache. Seriously, it's creepy. We'll miss you, Georgie. Oh, I got you guys! Best thing ever, I am good! Oh, I love you! I love you too. You guys really do care about me. Oh, what would I do without you guys? You guys love me! Best thing ever, love them, George! Look at me. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. For this week's comment of the week on the Huge Snakes vs. Rabbit episode, the question was, if you could only choose one food and one drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? And Conancito said, I think it depends on where you come from. If I personally would be American, I would like to eat hamburger and coke all day. If I was British, I would eat fish and chips while drinking tea. Scottish would be haggis and scotch. French would be some gay meal and champagne. And since I am German, I would eat what's called haxen here and beer. Well, seeing as I'm Polish, I guess I have to go with pierogies and sauerkraut, right? Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. All right, guys, it's Cal's Question of the Week. Now, this episode was all about difficult handling, difficult breeding, and difficult feeding of snakes. But you know what? People can be difficult too, right, Hugh? Yeah, like Brian. He's always one of these I don't want to do. Or George, loud and annoying. Or Kearney, a pig leaving mess everywhere. And of course, Lori, always on your ass about everything. I want to know from you guys, if you had somebody that's just absolutely difficult and will never leave you alone, whether it be a family member or a coworker, text or video comment below. Let me know. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Just because an animal is difficult to keep doesn't mean that it can't make an awesome animal. Just make sure to do your homework. And in snake bite style, we always want to shout out to reptile communities. There's a new one out there called gotherps.com. You guys got to check that one out. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites. <laughs>